again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I am pleased to show you a variation of the box stitch blanket that I did a while back. This is the box stitch lace blanket. And it is just a two round repeat. You heard me correctly. It's very, very simple. And I had so much fun whipping this up for you guys. Now, for this piece, I used, it was Lion Brand's Mandala Tweed, which I absolutely love how the colors work. And for those of you that need some more information, it is 568 yards and it is a medium weight of four. It is 100% acrylic and I love the colors. And the colorway for this particular piece is Lucky Penny. Mm. Now, this video is not sponsored, but you know, I always like to let you guys know what it is that I use so that if you want to duplicate the results, you can. And so you have the two strands. Uh, one changes color slowly, and then the other one changes color slowly, and it creates a really neat effect. And I really like this. And uh, I also, I used a size I. My focus will cut in. That would be awesome. A 5.5 millimeter hook. And uh, now I've heard other comments that this is referred to as the drunken granny. Well, let's just say if you want to call it that, let's just say she got into the cooking sherry and she's she's a little tipsy. She's, she's having a good time. Drunken granny, mm, I don't know, that's kind of disparaging. But at any rate, um, I went into a third skein when working on this project. However, I'm going to make it bigger, but I wanted to show you you know, what you can accomplish, you know, uh, you know, with a couple of skeins. So we're going to be continuing on working with this yarn and, uh, who's he, what's it's now something to keep in mind that if you noticed during the intro that the square has a slight twist to it, it doesn't lay completely straight. It, it has a slight twist to it. So now, keep in mind that, yes, if you are, you know, laying it out, you're going to see the twist a bit better, but if you're actually wearing the blanket and you're snuggled up underneath it, it's really not going to be that noticeable, you know? So, I mean, if that is a make it or break it factor, well, then perhaps using a solid color, you know, would, you know, detract from the effect. However, it was just so much fun using this color changing yarn. So it, it's totally up to you, but I just wanted to let you know prior to starting the project that that will be something that you might want to keep in mind. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, round one. Okay, so now this is actually, it is going to start off very much like the box stitch blanket that we did. We're going to start with, of course, our slip knot naturally and a chaining up of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then into the fourth chain from the hook, going to do a double crochet and then two more double crochets in the remaining two chains. And that is ultimately going to create four double crochets because that first bit of the chain counts as a double crochet. Although it's really going to be more of a, a post because we're not going to be working into the double crochets as we would on other projects. So from here, we are going to chain up three and we're going to turn the work as such, and we're going to work underneath the bar of this last double crochet that we did. Three double crochets underneath this bar. Oops. There we go. So again, we have four 
double crochets and you can cinch that up a little no problem and then we're going to do the same thing two more times for a total of four groupings four clusters and of course i got a knot naturally there we go all right so from here chain up three again Now we, we left off there. Well, now we're going to do three double crochets underneath this bar right here. It's all about turning, turning, turning. There we go. So that's our third grouping. And then we chain three again, turn the work again, and then three double crochets underneath this bar. There we go. And then to finish off this round, Underneath this bar here, we do a slip stitch. Like so. And that is your first round. So you have them all going in different directions. So you have this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. And that is how it should look, actually. So it is a little, it, it's a little tipsy already. <laughs> All right, so onwards to round two. All right, round two. Now we left off with our slip stitch. Well, from here, chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, into the fourth chain into the hook, do a double crochet, and then a double crochet into the next two chains. So you have a total of four once again. All right, now from here, flip the work like so, and then slip stitch underneath that bar right there. Okay, and I'm gonna do that again for you. So this is where we were initially. All right, now you're not going like this. You are flipping the work and then connecting with a slip stitch, like so. All right, then chain up three, and then underneath this bar, three doubles. Okay, chain up three, and then underneath this bar that we just did that last double crochet, three double crochets underneath that bar. Okay, then connecting underneath the top bar of this grouping with a slip stitch, chain up three, three doubles underneath this bar, Chain up three, 
then three doubles underneath this bar. and then join with a slip stitch underneath that bar, like so. Chain up three, three doubles underneath this bar that we just slip stitched underneath. And I didn't get all of my plies. There we go. And I hope all of you are doing fabulously today. It is a brisk October afternoon, and it is gorgeous outside. Absolutely. It's my favorite time of the year. All right, so from here, chain three, and then three doubles under the bar of the last double crochet that we did. Okay, and then join underneath the bar right here with a slip stitch and get the tail of our starting yarn out of the way. And then we just need, need to do one more block in order to finish round two. So from here, chain up three and underneath the bar do three doubles. And then, last but not least, slip stitch underneath the bar right there. And there we go. And so we have sort of like a, a, a cross shape, a plus sign or multiplication. You know, we have an X basically. And so you've got two per side. All right. And that's the end of round two. All right, round three. Round three is where we're gonna start doing the lacy bits. All right, so from here, going to chain up six, just as we have been. One, two, three, four, five, six, into the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet, and then double crochet in the next two chains for a total of four double crochets. And that, you know, that's gonna be the same at the beginning of every round, regardless. And it's rounds three and four are the repeat for this pattern, really. All right, so we've got our four doubles, then turn the work and slip stitch underneath this bar right here. All right, so now we need an arch, a little lacy bit. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And slip stitch underneath the bar up here. Get gamut. There we go. So that's our first little arch. And then from here, chain up three. And underneath this bar, three more doubles. Okay. And then chain three. And underneath this bar, three doubles. and then lock it into place by doing a slip stitch underneath the bar over here. All right, so we've got our two blocks. See the, the blocks going in this direction and then in this direction, so to speak, it does create an X 
throughout your piece. And those are always consistent, regardless of whether or not it's a lacy round or a solid round. That will always remain consistent. So from here, we need to do another lacy arch. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the top under the bar here. Like so. Chain up three. One, two, and three. Three doubles underneath the bar here. One. Two. Three. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the bar right here. and then lock it into place by slip stitching underneath the bar right there. And then we need another arch, so chain five. Slip stitch underneath the bar up top here. Chain up three. Three doubles under the bar here. Chain up three, three doubles underneath this bar, and we have to lock it down by slip stitching underneath here, underneath that bar, and then we need one more arch. So chain five, lock it into place with a slip stitch over underneath this bar, chain up three, and then underneath the bar, three more doubles. And then last but not least, lock it into place by slip stitching underneath our first bar. Ta-da! So now you can see that on all four sides we have a little lacy bit. And that's going to continue on as we work, but round four is going to be a solid round. So it's going to be alternating back and forth between lacy rounds and solid rounds. Alrighty. Onwards. All right, round four is going to be, as I said, it's going to be our solid round. So going to start by chaining up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook, and then the remaining two chains for a total of four double crochets. That does not change. There we go, and then turn the work, and then anchor it down with a slip stitch underneath the bar. Okay, so we're approaching our lacy bit, but first, chain up three, and underneath this bar, three doubles. and then lock it into place by slip stitching underneath the chain space. Like so. Chain up three. Three doubles into this chain space.
and then lock this into place by slip stitching underneath the bar on this side. So that creates our lacy bit right there. All right, so from here, chain up three. Three doubles underneath the bar here. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath this bar. And then lock it into place underneath this bar with a slip stitch. Okay, chain three. Three doubles underneath this bar that we just slip stitched under. Slip stitch into the chain space. Chain up three. Three double crochets into the chain space. Lock it into place. If you can hear my tummy grumbling, I apologize. I haven't had my breakfast. All right, so, <laughs> so then slip stitch and lock it into place underneath the bar here. Chain up three. And then three doubles underneath this bar. Okay, then chain up three. Three doubles under this bar. Lock it into place by slip stitching underneath this bar. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the bar. Lock it into place by slip stitching underneath the chain. There we go. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the chain. Slip stitch underneath this bar. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath this bar. My stomach is being very vocal. All right. And then chain up three. Three doubles underneath this bar. Then lock it into place by slip stitching underneath this bar. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it into place by slip stitching underneath the chain. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the chain. And then 
lock it into place by slip stitching underneath this bar. Chain up three, three doubles underneath that bar. And then last but not least, slip stitch to our first cluster underneath the bar. All right, so that was our solid round. So as you can see, we have enclosed and encapsulated lacy bits. So the next round would be round three again, if you will, where we're going to do lacy bits once again. And then I'm going to show you round four again, you know, to uh, try and be thorough, you know. So without further ado, let's do our repeat of round three again. Alrighty. All right, so for the repeat, round three, we need lacy bits. So going to chain up six. And into the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet. And then two more double crochets. And then turn the work. Don't forget to turn the work. Otherwise, you're going to you're going to have a problem. Trust me, I know. I've done this before. <laughs> All right, so lock it into place with a slip stitch. All right, and you immediately start in with your lacy bits. So after that first block, so chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then lock it into place at this point here. So it's our, our first lacy bit, and basically it's going to radiate outwards, like so. So chain up three, one, two, three, three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it into place with a slip stitch. Then we need another lacy bit. So chain up five, lock it into place with a slip stitch underneath the bar right here. And so that is one side. So we went from one to two. And so Every time, you know, it's just going to get more and more lacy bits on each side as you continue to radiate outwards. So from here, again, we've reached one of the solid bits of the X that I was mentioning. So again, it's going to be two clusters right here. So chain up three, one, two, three, and underneath the bar, three doubles, chain three, and then underneath this bar, three doubles, Lock it into place with a slip stitch. All right, and then we need our lacy bits again. So that's chaining up a five. Lock it into place with a slip stitch. Like so. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the bar.
lock that down with a slip stitch. Chain 5. Lock it down with a slip stitch. So that's our next side with our two eyelets. And then we need to do our two clusters once again. So chain up three. three doubles underneath the bar. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it down with a slip stitch. Chain five. Lock it down with a slip stitch. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the bar. Lock it down with a slip stitch. Chain five. Lock it down with a slip stitch. There we go. And then we have our two clusters once again. Okay, so chain three. Three doubles underneath the bar. Chain three. Three doubles underneath this bar. Okay. Lock it down with a slip stitch underneath this bar. Chain five. Slip stitch to lock it down. Chain three. Three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it down with a slip stitch. Chain five. Lock it down with a slip stitch. Chain three. And we have reached our last cluster. So three doubles underneath this bar. And then join them with a slip stitch underneath this bar right there. Ta -da! All right, so laying it out a bit, you can see that we went from one to two eyelets on each side. So pretty. All right, so that is the repeat of round three, and we're going to do round four once again. And uh, yeah, so let's continue on, shall we? Okay. All right, round four for the repeat. Going to start by chaining up six. One, two, three, four, five, six and then do a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and then into the next two chains 
as well with double crochets. There we go. Turn the work. And then lock it down with a slip stitch underneath that bar. Chain three. And then three doubles underneath that bar. There we go. And then lock it down with a slip stitch into the chain space. Chain up three. And then three doubles. And then lock this down with a slip stitch underneath that bar. Chain up three, three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it down with a slip stitch underneath the chain. Chain up three, three doubles underneath the chain. And then lock it down with a slip stitch underneath this bar. And then we've reached the corner, so that's two clusters. So chain up three, three doubles underneath the bar. Chain up three three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it down by slip stitching underneath this bar. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it down by slip stitching underneath the chain. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the chain. Lock it into place with a slip stitch underneath this bar. Chain up three, three doubles underneath this bar. Lock it down underneath the chain with a slip stitch. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the chain. And then lock it down by slip stitching underneath this bar. And we're in the corner, so chain up three. Three doubles underneath this bar. Okay, chain up three, three doubles underneath this bar, lock it down with a slip stitch, pull out some more yarn. Okay, 
chain up three, three doubles underneath this bar, lock it down with a slip stitch, chain up three, three doubles underneath the chain, Lock it down with a slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets under the bar, lock it down with a slip stitch underneath the chain, chain three, three doubles under the chain. Lock it with a slip stitch underneath the bar. And then we've got one more side. So chain up three, three doubles under the bar. Chain up three, three doubles under this bar. Lock it down with a slip stitch. Chain up three, three doubles under this bar. Lock it down with a slip stitch into the chain. Chain up three. Three doubles into the chain space. Lock it down with a slip stitch underneath the next bar. Chain up three. Three doubles under this bar. Lock this down underneath the next chain. Chain up three. Three doubles underneath the chain space. And then lock it down with a slip stitch into underneath that bar chain up three, and then three doubles underneath the bar. All right, and then to finish off the round, slip stitch underneath the bar at the very, very top, and shaboom. There you go. All righty. So there you have it, my little Yarnivores and Spiderettes. Full repeat of rounds three and four. And so the next round would be, of course, a, an eyelet round, where after doing your chaining up of six and then doing a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook and then the next two, well, then you would turn your work and you would slip stitch, and then uh, you would immediately do your chaining of five to create your eyelets. And so in the next round, it would be three eyelets across, and then four, and then so on, and so on, and so on. You know, um, now you can do, you know, say, you know, some eyelet rounds, and then some solid rounds, like, 
me, I just wanted to have it very, very simple where it's just like, okay, we have a solid round and an Iowa round and just alternate back and forth, back and forth. Personally, I would end on a solid round. Gives it a nice sort of sawtooth edge. I really like this piece and I hope you guys like it too. And if you did like this tutorial and I hope I was thorough enough, uh, you know, please give a little thumbs up button down below because as always, I appreciate your appreciation. Also, um, you know, if you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe because I do try to post videos as often as I can, whether it's crocheting or knitting or audiobook narration, um, you know, or my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. Or if you want to drop me a line, you can at my new P.O. box, information in the description box down below, along with links and timestamps for your convenience. Yes! So, until next time, I want all of you to, as one of my, <laughs> I, I, I was just told this, to be inspired instead of inspired. I thought it was so cute. I just, I had to share this. Somebody said that I inspired them. I just thought that was so cute. Oh, so, I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.